keep that arm through and grab here. You can grab hold of this as well. And all you need to do is to push, push, squash in. You need to keep hold of that arm. And push that one under the head, like this, and then bring your knees up there. Okay? You think you can do that for me? Let's find the space and go. Okay, if I try to push him this way, he can bend that knee, bend your knee, bend your knee, there, here. Makes it really difficult now for me to push it. Okay, if he's here like this and I try to pull him, he can bend this other knee. And these are all triangles, these are really powerful ways of trying to get your, stop your partner from rolling you over. So you need to be mobile when you're doing this position, okay? So we're going to try that in a moment, but after that, we're going to do the same rollover, but I need to control this arm and shoulder here like this. Here, really powerful. This one goes under the first leg, and then I grab the second leg there. Okay, and it's the same thing. I don't try to lift him, I just roll him over and squash him here. Okay, arm goes underneath the head, so I trap this arm, and I'm really strong here. If I can do my judo in this position, bring my knees up, I'm comfortable. If not, just lay really flat. Okay, so watch again. So the first thing I want you to do is to play with this position. Try and move your partner. Move that leg out here. Like this, push in here. Move that leg out here. here. Just try and get him to move. Once you've done that, so you understand that, how that works, put your arm underneath, trap the shoulders. Then go under the first one and physically grab that one. He can't run and you're pushing, never lift. Push, roll, and squash him. Here. Arm goes down the back. This is good for side four quarters now. Here. Okay? Bring your arms up and um, your feet in. Squash him. Okay, would you like to try that for me? Okay, let's go then.
So the strong, as strong as Kazabitami is, I don't think you should be frightened when you're trying to escape. You know, if, if we follow the mechanics of this, you know, this is doable, so you can do this. So the, the first thing that he's got, if you sit up a sec, just say that one. What we have to try and remember, he has a lot of base here, it's very powerful here. And we've got to take him away from his base. Okay, he's very powerful here. So, what I need to do is to trap his arm here, push him forwards, and then roll on my shoulders here, like this. Push him forwards, roll on my shoulders. You can't take his arm out because I'm trapping it, and that's when I roll in here, and then I go straight into a hold. Yeah? You think you can do that for me? Yeah? Okay, thank you. Do you guys know those throws? Yeah? 
Also to Gary, here. Also to Gary and Haragoshi. Do you guys know Haragoshi? Okay. Those throws that I've done, do all of you know at least one of them? Put your hands up if you don't know any of those throws. Fantastic. So what I want you to do, this is what I want you to do. Okay. We're going to do sets of three. So you can throw them three times. Okay. It's from standing. So get your partners on their toes. Throw them. Stand up. So this is how we're going to do it. Okay. That's his first one. It's his second one. Okay. And then it's my turn. Here. Huh? That's the first one. Huh? That's the second one. And then it's all good. What's your name? I'm going to go again. That's all we want to do. But the way that I was held myself up for Arvin is so that I can make his judo look good. I don't want to be like this, and I don't want to fall backwards, make it difficult for him to do his throw, like he was very good letting me do his, my throw on him. So it's really important. Stand up and allow your partners to do your throws, okay? Thank you. Find your space then. Let's go then guys. Set the Find the space. Set some three. And you go okay. Who's throwing? Are you going to do the throw? Do a throw? Yeah, show me one then. Show me one. Stand by. Then we'll have a fight from here. Oh. Yeah, grab hold of him. Grab hold of him. Grab hold, grab hold of that's it, grab hold, stand by then, stand by then, from here, grab hold, grab hold of that, grab hold, stand by, ready, are you ready? Okay? based on a tree um, and so you obviously start from the roots and all the roots are all geared around all the fundamentals of modern judo so the ne waza, you know, the tatabala, um, all the movements, holding lightly, uh, etc, etc, all of that is learnt at the bottom, 
Right, so without the foundations, it's really difficult to do something at the top. Does, does, does that make sense? Yeah? Um, and then you've got the trunk. The trunk's very, very important. It's very powerful. This is where the judo players have really powerful throwing techniques. And there are about five powerful, um, powerful throwing techniques. And that's uh, the Sienagis, you've got Tayatoshi, Aragoshi, probably Uchimata's in there as well. You've got Oso Tagari. Okay, very, very powerful throws there. And, and then you've got the branches that come off from the trunk. And then all the other bits that help the work, that, that help the trunk um, techniques work. So these are um, Hisaguruma, Ochigari, Koichigari. Yeah? All the throws that you would use in combination to make the trunk work. And then you've got, on the tree, you've got fruits. And the fruits are the throws that you wouldn't normally get away with all of the time, but they're, they're an opportunity. In the blink of an eye, things like Tom and Aggie. Somebody's pushing on you and you sit down and you throw them. Would you go for that initially? I don't know. Because that's not, that's not probably a major throw. But there are um, opportunities in modern judo where you can have fruits. And those fruits on the tree are things like the throws that I've just mentioned. So with that framework, what I'm going to do is go through an hour and a half and just guide you through some of that. Okay? Um, forgive me if you know some of this stuff already, uh, but because I've not been here, I can just do the same what I want, really. Which is I taught them everything. Okay, fantastic. Um, one of the things that I talk about also is strength and conditioning, and that's what we're going to do a little bit of here. Um, my pet hate, really, is um, a lot of judoka thinking that the only way to get fit for judo is going into the gym, pumping lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of weights. I mean, that's a good thing, that gives you a base, but really, most of your judo strengthening should be done on the mat. It should be. The, the, the strength training on the mat builds the tendons and the joints, okay? for all those powerful throws that you want. So we're going to look at some of those now um, and just give you some ideas, okay? So the first thing I want us to do is to look at core work. So, um, were you here on, on, on Wednesday? Yes, sir. Yeah, cool. If you come here, you should see him on your... Uh, cool. So, if you lie down for me... Okay. So, this is the first strength training we're going to do. We're going to give you just an idea and we'll move on. Okay. So, the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to hold my legs like this in the best position. You hold my legs. Up, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, 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 here. And we're going to push, push your arms up. Arms up. We're going to press down. Press down. Lower your legs. Lower your arms. Lower your arms. Push up. Push down. Now roll. Here. Push up. Push down. And roll. Here. Now, push up, push down, and roll. Here. Okay. And stay there. Let's go, guys. Find the partner. Okay, so if you just lean back slightly. 
Okay, I'm an old guy, so come back to me. Okay, so from here, what we're doing is we're controlling the weight of our partner. Okay, so you've got the weight there. So you're lowering down and push up, and then arms come out and push up. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of weight. Yeah. Okay, and then lower down to the other place. So, yeah. Yeah, press up. That's it. Yeah, lower down. No, you need to do some weight. That's it. Yeah, that's press up. Yeah. Lower down like this. Push up. And then up here. Push up. And here. Push up. One arm. Push up. Here. Okay, so you're changing the dynamics each time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Where's the other bottom then? Okay. That's it. You need to wake these things up. That's right. So you're doing the work there. Yeah, okay, that's cool.
good because you want to be the other one. Make a grip here and then force that through. And now there's something we can do from here. So, if you let go of that one for a second, hold on to that. Okay, so this is key. What we're doing with this arm is really key. Because if we don't understand the mechanics of this bit, you know, you're going to break it back here. We're going to be doing all of this, we're going to be trying to push this off, squeeze the guy's face down, you know, and the back of the back is going to pull mate if you're not doing anything logistically. Okay? But the secret for me is in the arm here, like this. So what we want to do, once we're in this position, is to pull, put this arm into here, like this. Okay? Into here. And what we're doing is we're applying pressure. That's it. Well, just hold that. We're trying to get the arm from a straight position like this, because we're pulling it, and we need to pull it when it's in this position here, like this. Here. Like that. So we need to get the hand into that position before we apply the pressure. Otherwise, my partner's too strong. Okay? So if my arm's in this position here, like this. So I've got my arm to here. I'm forcing this down. And my elbow's on his elbow here. And all I'm doing with this bit, I'm not pulling. He's nice and straight, tight here. This arm, all this arm is doing is breaking the wrist. There. Hold. That's all that arm is doing. Okay, so from this position here like this, okay, <coughs> force the force the elbow down and put your elbow on his elbow there. And you've got to go right down now to the wrist. Grip hold, and then you're just applying enough pressure to get that grip there. Like this. As soon as it's there, pop it. Okay? It's difficult to hold, isn't it? Yeah, so from here, so this is the drill. So if your hands in here, pull it in, force that down to here. Put your wrist right under his, and you're popping that there, pop it, and then we're in the same position. Okay? In, force the elbow down, put your elbow on, grip, into here, pop. There's nothing you can do, then grab hold, pull it up, and then apply G. Okay guys? Yeah, try that for me. Thank you. This hand's through. Outside on. No, it's a shot. Yeah, sir. Get that one coming through. And then like up. Go that way. And then flat. Oh, you do that first. Yeah. I've got to do that. I'm not going to lose this. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Break that down to here. Then I've got to force that down there. And that's all I'm doing there. I'm just tourniqueting that. Just doing getting the hook. Just getting the hook so I do that. And then it. Is holding the inside of your jacket. So inside your jacket, you've got this flappy part here. This. So what you need to do is to reach into your jacket and grab this bit here. And the thing about it is because you're now grabbing onto cloth and, and not the collar. You know, if the collars are really thick, then you're not going to be able, unless you've got really strong grip, you know, the collars are starch, it's going to break your grip before you grab hold of it. So if you feed in, the moment you feel Gigi coming on, feed all the way in and grab this cloth. Okay? And then you can hold the other arm and it makes it really difficult for them to break your grip. Okay? So, if you like that. Holding this bit here, okay? So now we've got a real problem, because I now don't have exposure to, to his wrist. So the moment you feel Gigi coming on, okay, for me, reach in and grab that baggy part of your hand. Okay, that's the first thing. Okay, so, what we need to do then, and, and just try that, and just try and apply Juji. If that doesn't work, what I want you to do now, if you can't do this, switch hands, so this arm is in here like this, okay? Then what I want to do is to turn my hand here like this, and grab hold of the belt, 
or the skirt here. Grab hold of the skirt here, like this. Okay, and then come on top here for a hold. Okay, we've got any refs in here? Referees? Or say Comey. Yep. Or say Comey. Oh, say yeah. Okay, yeah. and what you're doing in this hold is applying, you're putting your, your hamstring, really forcing your hamstring on your partner's stomach here, holding him really tight. And he's going to have a problem down there. Okay? Osa Komi here. And my feet are in the right position, so if he starts to, to wriggle out, it's really difficult here. Okay? If he then wants to do something with this, you can see now thinks that, yeah, there's an arm might come out here, that's when you come back in and apply your juji. Okay? That makes sense? Okay. Right. So watch again. So from here, reach in. This is what you've got. Finding it really difficult to apply. Switch hands to there. Put your legs out. Switch hands and then pull that over. It might be that he's got both of them. That's cool. That's what you're doing here. Get the skirt. Pull them over. Tie both arms in now. And then you've got to be mobile. You've got to pull yourself up here and force your hamstring on his tummy there. That'll test his core. Okay? Osa Komi. Okay? And if he now wants to release because he wants to get out and that arm comes out here, now we've got it. You're now using momentum to get your partner back to apply Gigi. Okay? Want to try that for me? So all we're going to do is follow the channel down the side of your neck. Yeah? Knuckle down the side of your neck into here. Okay? So that's how you get in there. Even if he's really tight, knuckle into there. It's where we want. This is really key. If we don't isolate the head, okay, then the referee will accuse us then of hyperextending the back and we've got a problem there. Okay, so the way to overcome that, once that's in position there, we force our shoulder against the opponent's neck, here like this. And we do all of our work in this position. So when we're here like this, we're just reaching in here. He can't move anywhere because we've isolated, isolated him here, and then he'll tap. Okay, so that's the functionality there. You okay? Isolated. Okay, so if you come down here for me, just one. So, first thing we need to do from this position is get our knees into here. Okay, sit up. See where our knees are. That's the key thing. Okay, you can get one in, and then get the other one in here. And what you have to do now is to collapse him, so he traps his arms here, like this, there. Surfing. <laughs> can he move his arms? I don't think so. And then from here, that's when you do that skullduggery stuff. Down into there, here. <laughs> Trap him. And just tap your feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Exactly. You okay? I said so. Yeah? So from this position here, one in, the other one in, on your elbows. And you're going to push him and squash him. Here. Oh. There. Then you're going to work it here and then apply. Okay, let's try it out, then, guys. Can you see that? Uh, see, see that again? Yeah. Oh, good. You right? Okay. Okay. Let's try to have an additional amount of screen, guys. 
From here, push. Yeah, oh. This is what I've got here. There. So you're going to snatch. And then you can feed it in and do all your judo from there. Here. Okay, let's go then, guys. Exterior in your partner. Okay? To an extent where he doesn't know where the throw is going to come from. Modern judo is, is explosive judo. Modern judo is about combinations. The, um, the tag for, for Japanese judo is um, they, to win, they must attack. Okay? So their defense is attacking. And their attacking is their defense. So they're attacking all of the time. So that requires a different set of lungs. But I don't think the modern game and judo at the top level is by accident. These guys train. They train as a strategy. They're very careful about where they put their feet. So this is what we're going to look at. It's just combining footwork before you come in for your throw. Because you know your throws. So this is just giving you an idea of how you can move your partner to a situation and then explode into your throat. We did some of this on Tuesday. So, can I use your... Oh, I'm going to so I'm going to use second. And the concept here is really straightforward. We're going to move my partner here from this position to 180 degrees. And all, I, all we've got is here like this. He's got hold of me. I'm going to take a step past him to here like this. Take a step past and grab hold of him. Take a step past and grab hold of him. I'm turning 180 degrees. That's all I want to do. Okay? So from here, take a step, and then pull him there. Okay? Before we do anything else. Okay, once you've done that a couple of times, then the strategy works. We've raised our partners, he's coming out to go hold me, I want to take the arm away initially, there. Okay? I then want to bring it back and then launch into my judo from there. Pull him around 180 degrees from that position. So he's going to come out, snatch that. Here, pull him around 180 degrees. Okay? So the first one, take a step, pull him around 180 degrees. So we're using our whole body to move him around. We talked about a tennis player on Wednesday. They don't stand on the back court, ready like this or in that position. They're waiting to see. And that's what you're doing. So the moment you break, you're waiting for that to happen. Here. And then, it comes across, pull it around, and then we can do some judo from that. Okay? Do you want to try that for me? In the right position for you at this stage, then we can either do that again, or we can really power him back. Push him back with all our forces. We take a step here, there. That's what we want to do. Okay? So I'll just show you that. Fifth part. So I've got him in this position. I want to take a step here. Here. Push. There. Now I've got an operating position to do my judo. Whether I'm going to throw backwards or whether I'm going to throw forwards. But you need that operating distance to give you the momentum that you need to explode into your throw. Okay? And this is all I'm doing here. Yeah. I've pulled them around. Yeah. There. Yeah. Pulled them around. Push. I mean, do whatever you want. He's not going to know whether I'm going to throw him forwards or backwards. Is that the best position to place your partner in? Absolutely. Otherwise, it becomes a bit academic here. We're ready, nothing's happening. You know, we're not. Hello? It's a bit too difficult. So the moment comes out, here, push him, pull him around. There, yeah, and then, whoa! Because he doesn't know which way. Here, there, pull him around. Push, here, there. Because he doesn't know which way, I'm gonna throw him. So that's the drill. One, two, you need to take a step, push, and then it's your choice, it's your choice what you do. But he's now ready for backwards or forwards, any throw from there. He was really good for me 
Because when I pushed him, he ran back. That's what you need your partner to do. Okay? And here. Push him. Yeah. Push. Now, that's good. Good view key. It's allowing me then to do my judo. The thing is, the longer you leave it, the longer you leave it to explode into a throw, you're giving them the opportunity now to second guess what you're going to do. But you have to stop him before you throw him. You can't be moving while you're throwing. You have to stop him in the blink of an eye, then you have to throw him. D does that make sense? Okay. Yeah? Let's go then. Any throw you want afterwards? No. is that they are relentless. Their pursuit of the ippon, that is what they're going for. I mean, they don't even have counter. The counter technique doesn't even go into their repertoire. A counter technique is a technique because you did a bad throw. That's it. It's failure of Kazushi. Gets you counter. But we're not doing anything about failing with Kazushi here. All right? You can practice counters, but I would rather practice combinations. Because you're moving your partner, you're getting into a state where they are, you have broken their balance or your movement. And you have to do that more than once in some cases, because these guys are skillful. Well that's okay, because you've joined judo. This is what you want to do. So you've got to raise the level a bit. Okay? So from here now, this is it. Move them out, pull them around, push them. I'm still not satisfied. There. Here. Here. And then I quit. And what I'm doing, I'm not necessarily going for the true, powerful Ochigari or the true, powerful Kochigari. I'm, I'm not looking for that. I'm almost kneeing him out of the way. I'm using the whole of my leg. Put that leg forward. The other one. Here. What I'm doing is I'm moving it out of the way here, there. I'm just butting it out of the way. And that one's in the way here, there. There. Here. That's what I'm doing. So the cycle now is this. There. Pull them around. Move them out of the way. Pop them. Pop them. And throw them. And then we'll finish off with Van Dory. then we can either do that again, or we can really power him back. Push him back with all our force as we take a step here, there. That's what we want to do. Okay? So I'll just show you that, feet apart. So I've got him in this position. I want to take a step here, here. Push, there. Now I've got an operating position to do my judo. Whether I'm going to throw backwards, or whether I'm going to throw forwards. But you need that operating distance to give you the momentum that you need to explode into your throat. Okay? And this is all I'm doing here. I've pulled them around. There. Pulled them around. Push. I mean, do whatever you want. He's not going to know whether I'm going to throw him forwards or backwards. Is that the best position to place your partner in? Absolutely. Otherwise, it becomes a bit academic here. We're raining, nothing's happening. You know, we're not. Hello? It's a bit too difficult. So the moment comes out, here, push him, pull him around. There, here, and then go! Because he doesn't know which way. Here, there. Because he doesn't know which way, I'm going to throw it. 
So that's the drill. One. Two. You need to take a step. Push. And then it's your choice. It's your choice what you do. But he's now ready. For backwards or forwards. And he throw from there. He was really good for me. Because when I pushed him, he went back. That's what you need your partner to do. Okay? And here. Push him. Yeah. Push. Now, that's good. Good view, King. It's allowing me then to do my judo. The thing is, the longer you leave it, the longer you leave it to explode into a throw, you're giving them the opportunity now to second guess what you're going to do. But you have to stop him before you throw him. You can't be moving while you throw him. You have to stop him in the blink of an eye, then you have to throw him. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, let's go then. Any throw you want afterwards? No. is that they are relentless. Their pursuit of the ippon, that is what they're going for. I mean, they don't even have counter. The counter technique doesn't even go into their repertoire. A counter technique is a technique because you did a bad throw. That's it. It's failure of Kazushi. Gets you counter. And we're not doing anything about failing with Kazushi here. All right? You can practice counters, but I would rather practice combinations. Because you're moving your partner, you're getting into a state where they are, you've broken their balance through your movement. And you have to do that more than once in some cases, because these guys are skillful. Well that's okay, because you've joined judo. This is what you want to do. So you're going to raise the level a bit. Okay? So from here now, this is it. Move them out, pull them around, push them. I'm still not satisfied. There. Here. Here. And then I can do it. And what I'm doing, I'm not necessarily going for the true, powerful Ochigari or the true, powerful Kochigari. I'm, I'm not looking for that. I'm almost kneeing him out of the way. I'm using the whole of my leg. Put that leg forward, the other one, here. What I'm doing is I'm moving it out of the way here, there. I'm just butting it out of the way. And that one's in the way here, there. There. Here. That's what I'm doing. So the cycle now is this. There. Pull them round. Move them out of the way. Drop them. Drop them. And throw them. And then we'll finish off with Randori. <laughs> 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 